Hello fellow knights, Finn here and welcome back to DDLC Plus for some more side stories goodness. And so far so good, now we're down to 3 side stories and now things are gonna get real interesting. And also in case if you didn't notice why I already unlocked part 2 is because I'm uh, let's just say I'm a bit of a dum dum because uh, during the recording I didn't realize that my audio for the webcam side is is stereo so that means the audio is only playing on my left ear so i changed that to mono and i think it sounds a lot more better so and another thing if you didn't notice the other uh, webcam layout well it's just something that uh, something a little bit different i want to try for my editing style and i don't know if it fits or well but i don't know you guys can uh leave that down in the comments down below and tell me what you think about this uh, this new webcam layout whenever i ramble on camera or talk about things and uh, move my position possibly that means i can do this uh this or this or this this and this and that with that out of the way you guys know the drill and what time is it it's doki doki time <laughs> Natsuki is messing behind the orientation for manga in the closet shelves. Sayori approaches from behind and pulls her into embrace. What? Hi. Hi. The literature club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now comprised of four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monika. Each member had received a day in the spotlight to share all their favorite kinds of literature with, you, with each other. Before we can continue, um, can I comment how how cute or cool this uh this background music is? I don't know why it just sounds so happy, so lively, and somewhat cute. Um, I guess it correlates to the side story that it's like a mix between uh, Sayori and Natsuki. I like that, uh, a mix of both themes. Natsuki was, shared, was first and shared her passion for manga. Then Sayori shared her love for poetry, as well as how she goes about writing it herself. Monika, who has mo multiple literary interests, decides to focus her day on short stories. And finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy, with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. After the week has spent on their presentations, Monica decided to give the club members this next week to freely explore with each other's literary interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy books, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read with you today. Tell me which one should I pick? Well, that depends on the stuff you kind depends on the stuff you well that depends on the kind of stuff you like I mean there's like romance drama comedy mystery I like all of those things Sayori reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes you, you wouldn't like that that's okay was that a doujin? If you guys don't know what a doujin is, just google it. In a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand and replaces it on the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't start to get really good until like a few volumes in, and I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already really into manga. I can't handle it. I did it with Yuri's book at least. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Although I'm kinda impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No, I have the attention span of a donut. But I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's just for them. Well, okay then. Let's pick you something that even donuts can read. I didn't say it was a donut. I just said I had the attention span of one. Aw, you were just trying to call me sweet. You're so cute. N no! How did you get to that conclusion? And don't call me that. A donut? You. Aw, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you, need, you just need to stop. People need to realize that. I'm, 
I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, sorry. It wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head while pulling a second chair over to her desk. I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get angry all of a sudden. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're like, well, like a nice person, so I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Sayori speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. Well, anyway, here's the book, so just start it whenever you feel like it. What's it about? Well, it's like a comedy. And there's romance too, obviously. Ah, oh, a rom-com. In all honesty, um, um, after all of my time, all of my free time watching anime and reading manga, I like rom-com. It's kind of cute, honestly. Sayori looks at the title. It's called Love is Another Word for Luck. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, and then you found out, like, well, you just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess who you're gonna ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Ship? I don't get it. Ah, never mind. Let's just not worry about that yet. Just make sure you tell me what you think. Oh, okay. I'll start then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we could do poetry too. Oh, um, yeah, I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we could do both. I mean, if you don't like poetry, then I won't make you... Then I won't make you or anything. No, it's just... Well, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. Okay. After the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monika strikes up a conversation with Yuri. I see you got Natsuki... I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. And not that doujin, wink wink. <laughs> I really want to become better friends with her. He's so enthusiastic and, and expressive. I could just listen to her, to her talk. She's so cute. I'm not sure if she meant I can say that to her, or if I can't say it at all. Say what? Nothing. I'm a woman. I'm a woman of respect. But Natsuki is a woman of cute. Oh, I said it. <laughs> What's so bad about that? I don't know. But, you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Aw, that's ridiculous. How come you feel that way? Well, I mean... Just little signs like how she only says hi to me after I say hi to Fur first. And it feels like she only gets excited to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. She just seems dismissive a lot. She's like she was like that when I brought up poetry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's probably just shy, you know. Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It likes to do that. It's okay, try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. Mon uh, Monica, wrong name. Sayori gives Monica a quick hug. Imagine if you just hug yourself, that would be... Um, I don't know what's the right word for it. I can say like really because I just gave off a, a, a wrong name again. Again, what is wrong with me and with wrong names? Well, I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I want to get closer to her. You got this. Aw, Sire so just want to make friends. Of course. Sorry. Music is just so good. I like it. I'm just kidding. After the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in, as usual. Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet, reading what must be manga. Or definitely not the Jojin. Okay, Pin, you need to shut up about the Dojin. You are not a degenerate. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. Hello there. <laughs> Sayori. I'm trying to pull up an Obi-Wan Kenobi to Natsuki. I mean, imagine if Sayori is Obi-Wan Kenobi and Natsuki is General Grievous, and then Natsuki would just say, 
<laughs> General Sayori. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I had to do it. Star Wars memes are in my mind as much as, well, obviously I'm a somewhat of a Star Wars fan as you can see there. I had to do it because, man, prequel memes are all over the place. Hi. What you're reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. You can just start in the middle. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway, I've been waiting forever for this volume to come out, and it just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Mm-hmm. Can I sit next to you, though? Uh, sure. Sayori plops herself down next to Natsuki, then pulls out a blank sheet of paper. Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. From Sayori's side, only the light tapping noises of her pen meeting the paper can be heard. Time passes. Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No, but it's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. Natsuki stretches her arms. Aren't you bored? No, I was writing. Oh, I saw all the stick figures and I thought you were just bored. I just throw those when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. This one is sad because if she thinks the night sky is pretty, but she can look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. And this one has problems with his back, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. <laughs> what the heck? You're the weirdo. Wanna read the poem I'm working on? Sure, I guess. Sayori slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Hmm. She slides, she slides the paper back over to Sayori. Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, her poems are like, really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it's just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other if they can find ways of expressing their feelings. Well? Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kinds of friends you have? I don't know. To each of their own, I've never let anyone I'd feel comfortable sharing my poems with. Not that it's you, it's just how I am, so... You write poems? You never told me that, I just thought you write other stuff. Yeah, that too, but... You should. I mean, sh would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But... Can we talk about something else? I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, well, let's just move on to something that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Alright. Oh boy, just doing a little bit of stretching because man, my arms, man. Uh, I don't know what I'm feeling about me, but oh boy, uh, there's nothing wrong with me, fellow knights. I'm, I'm, I'm just fine. I just need a good stretch. Over the next few days, Sayori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. It's Natsuki! Natsuki! Hi, Natsuki! <laughs> oh man, I kinda reminds me of that one character shouting out the name in the anime, be like, um, insert name here, insert name here, here and there, and then... Okay. <laughs> That's what it really reminds me of. At the end of one club meeting, Monica, who is... who has rather become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts an insinuous con conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Yeah, mostly. Hmm? Natsuki glances over her shoulder, but doesn't reply further. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't 
talk about people behind your backs. Oh. Natsuki falls silent, but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing, as though she wants to say more. It's okay to share your feelings, that's different from talking about someone behind your back. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I'm better than to do it to others. Monica shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Um... Thanks, I guess, but it doesn't feel like it. You can trust me. Natsuki stands in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel smothered sometimes. I'm not used to someone being like all over me right after we meet. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have no control over the pace. I just can't meet someone and instantly become best friends with them and like share everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? I know, I just feel bad about it. I know Sayori, so I should have realized. Monica navigates through her tinge of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to her being the one previously encouraged Sayori's behavior. Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can't help but feel a little responsible. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could, I don't know, I could like divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way, that would be so underhanded and mean. Sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't think that through one through. Besides, just because I complain about it doesn't mean I'm asking someone for someone, asking, doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True, I'm sorry. I guess I just instinct instinctively want to try to solve problems even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. I would talk to Sayori about it, but it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would make her just constantly be afraid of that she's bothering me. I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I think if you do a great job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. Sayori really wants to be the best she can be for other people. I think she would be actually be happy if you want to improve your friendship with her. Well, that's actually pretty true because again, Sayori really wants to make friends, then you two can be great friends because, well, Sayori is my fa my favorite Doki after all, and Natsuki, well, she's a, she's a second runner up, and uh, yeah, she would she they would make good friends. In other words, yeah, maybe. Ugh, it just feels so dumb. Talking to someone about how to be friends with them? It's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's the literature club. Then she muffle, mumbles through a stippled laugh. It's not the cool club. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, that just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know that you're in a tough spot and that's hard for you to really express yourself. But you really demonstrate to me that you're great at self-reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe you'll find the right thing to do. Well, Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Natsuki gathers her things, then she finishes her thought in a mumbo. And I'm still glad I joined the club, even if it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles, but Natsuki turns her back and walks away before waiting for a reply. It's an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything was really going to be okay. Oh man, that was a really good story so far. And especially the side story that I'm playing right now features two of my favorite Dokis. Well, Sayori being my first favorite and always be my top favorite Doki. And Natsuki, my runner-up favorite because, well, she's cool and all because manga. So, well, I guess that's it for this episode of uh, DDLC+. Plus. If you want to see part 2 of, well, said side story, I forgot which uh, which title it is, but it eh, eh, doesn't matter. If you want to see part 2 
leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already and enjoyed what you're watching and what you're seeing so far. It would help me a, a lot. I was gonna say a huge bunch, but it will help me a lot on making more content like this. And also, um, like I said, I'd say this is uh, somewhat pre-recorded and now I unlocked part 2 of the other uh, side story because the recording of the, uh, the face cam is in stereo instead of mono like I said in the beginning. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Time Knight signing off and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun fellow knights.